Recently, a source leaked to me internal documents from the Income Tax Department, which indicated how a very complex web of corporate entities registered in tax havens across the globe were used by the Ambani family after the demise of Dhirubhai Ambani on the 6th of July 2002. Dhirubhai Ambani was India's richest man. He died interstate, that is without a will. And thereafter, his two sons, Mukesh Ambani and Anil Ambani, had a big fight. But what is interesting about this article is the manner in which an estimated 2,100 crore rupees were sought to be stashed away from the gaze of India's income tax authorities. Now, bits and pieces of this story have appeared. It all started with a leak by the whistleblower, Herb Falciani. He leaked out a, a huge amount of material which had been obtained from the Geneva branch of HSBC Bank. The French government passed on this information to the Indian government. Thereafter, uh, Prashant Bhushan and Arvind K. Jiwal in July 2011 pointed out how there were about 700 names of prominent Indians and corporate entities controlled by them. One of them was a company called Motec Software. And, and this was closely associated with the Ambani family. And the income tax department has gone into some depth as to how, through an incredibly complicated manner, this money was sort of spread out all, all across the globe. Now, if you want to know more about this story that has been written by my colleague Abir Das Gupta and me, go to NewsClick and find out an amazing story of how to carve up a business empire through tax havens, the Ambani Wick.